Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Detroit Become Human. And we are at Rose's Farm, also known as Midnight Train. Uh, this is a kind of hard one because I don't think there's a fast way to do this chapter. I just think it is what it is and there's not a fast way to do it. Hello? I don't actually have to do it, but I am. I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. I think we can trust them. We don't have a choice. Come in. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? I think you can read that later, so it's not a big deal. Get in, Alice. Stop because of me. You've got to get across the border. Don't worry, Alice. These people are going to help us. Get some rest, and this time tomorrow, we'll be in Canada. I promise. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Okay, let's do that. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Maybe one day we will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Sleep tight, Alice. 
I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. Tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. All right, Luther, you stay and watch stay her. With her a while. Downstairs I go. I'm hoping to get this and uh I don't I know what the name from Kara. This is my son Adam. Capital Park. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. Yeah, uh, I can't read that. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Carol? Yes. I'm fine.
can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. this magazine and then it should be time for the cop to show up. Isn't he usually sitting there at the table? What am I supposed to do right now? Check on Alice? Hold on. There's one, two, three... And f is Alice's stuff for? You know what happened back there, don't you? You know that you don't want to tell me? Okay, so one, two, three, is Alice's clothes four? I don't quite remember. I can see why you're angry. We don't want to cause any problems, we just want to get across the border. Here we go. The police. It's the police. What are we going to do? All right, one. They know we're here. What a game. We have to open the door. Hold on, home homie. I knew this was going to happen. I knew it. Hide it. Alice's clothes. Hurry, Luther, take Alice and hide. Kitchen or upstairs? upstairs. Come on, Alice. Right, I got twenty seconds still. If they see you panicking, it's over. Do you want to get us into trouble? Do you want to get your mother into trouble? 
keep calm and just do what I say. Got 13 seconds. No deviant evidence left. Okay. Here we go. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? No. No, just us. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. If it would have said Alice and Luther, I would have said yes, but it doesn't help me if he finds Alice and Luther and I just said Alice was here. He's not suspicious at all. Nice. Then here's the walk past where those clothes were. Luther! There was no one else in the house. Uh, uh, I, I forgot there's, um, there's my daughter upstairs. That was a terrible lie. Dude, just go away. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I haven't seen anything. Adam, you're shit at this. How can you be this bad? I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Somebody else in the house? It's the dog. He sleeps in the laundry room. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. All right.
Policeman left. Alright, so we will do... Uh, I can't decide if I want to do Capital Park now or in the next... We'll do Capital Park now, whatever. I think I know how to do it quickly. I gotta kind of do it quickly. Our broadcast is all over the news. We got what we wanted. But not like insanely quick. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. They'll be watching us now. Whatever we do next, we need to think about public opinion. Since our broadcast, more and more have been coming to Jericho. At least our message gave our people hope. Killing humans wasn't part of the plan. They kill our people every day. Do you think they agonize about it? That's no reason for us to become murderers. If killing is the price of freedom, I'll pay it gladly. Killing never freed anyone. It just leads to more hatred. You're too fond of humans, Josh. Maybe their lives matter to you more than ours. If you think murdering humans is gonna make us free, then you're as bad as they are. That's enough. And now what are we gonna do? There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. Not to mention police. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. Oh yeah, I uh, I was checking my notes. I almost forgot this again. There's a magazine right when you get out of here, and oh boy, did it almost go like majorly so. Our people will remember. It's right here, and I missed it the last time. Ooh, buddy, that was almost terrible. I know essentially how to do this. Time for this. Quickly. Hey Marcus, learn how to run. Marcus, way, hey Marcus, run, you idiot. I don't know what I did so differently in it's this okay, playthrough. It's okay, they're gone. I think I was pretty There's close to There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. North was pretty close to loving me at this point, and Alice had loved me forever, so I don't really know what I've done so different that they don't. But they don't love me as much. Okay. I'm trying to think of the things I need to do. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? Okay. Let's start. We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? The surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. Construct a route.
Okay, stop, stop. It's all the way around on the other side. All the way, keep going. Keep going. Right here. There we go. Should be good. All right, Marcus. Take it down. didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. Alright, we can skip most of this. Let's just go for the sign, then the vehicle. Actually, there's traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. I gotta analyze the store window first. Right, run back to the window. And then we'll run back to those guys. Alright. You see the alarm system? Yes, ma'am, I do. Identify network. Found it. Okay. Runs all the way over here. Network access located. Jump down. Convert up. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. R1 L2. Boom. Inner loop. All right. Now we just got to block the road and drive the car. Almost there. Nice job, Marcus. Oh, we're friends now. You have to be like, I don't even know how you don't become a lover with North if you just play this game the normal way. Unless you never kiss her and you never... I don't know. It'd be really weird to not end up as her lover. It's like super easy. You're free now. Go away, homie, so I can take this sign. I'm not really converting you. I'm just stealing the sign. There. Nobody should bother us now. Okay, area secure. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. And how do you plan on doing that? We need to find a truck to ram the storefront. A truck? There's construction work in the area. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. Well, I found the truck. There it is. Let's 
deal. Uh, okay. I thought you just uh, jumped the fence. Oh. I need a, some bolt cutters. What are we waiting for? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Just jump the fence. I don't know why. Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. Take the bolt cutters. Cut the bolt. I don't know why you wouldn't put barbed wire on top of the door, but, you know. You do you, construction guys. You do you. Alright. And we're in. Get in north. There Looks we like we're ready to make some noise. Marcus, what kind of turn job out of here was that? He's like on the side. All right, this wasn't, this isn't too bad. This episode will probably be like 40-ish minutes-ish. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. I don't actually think you needed to ram the door this far. It's made out of like glass. Probably like reinforced glass, but it's still glass. to obey them. You're free. All right, North, what you doing over here? So creepy. You with you, okay? Let's get them out of here. Marcus, maybe you should go after the new North. She's brand new. All right, let's talk to him. It's the exact same girl, Marcus, and you could have a brand new, fresh new model of her. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom, and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. We're with you, Marcus. I'm with you. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. You're with I'm, I'm with you. Then follow me. 
Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. Be pacifist or be violent. We can just be pacifist. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. Alright, what symbol are we doing? I did the one on the right, or on the left first. Let's do... Let's do this one. I kind of like it. Okay. The screens, Marcus. I'll help you. This bad boy out in the middle of the road. I'm not really sure what that does, but hey. this bad boy up. Hijack. We have to recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future. Alright, let's get these people out over here. Just trying to get them out. I know this is probably gonna piss people off. It's probably gonna take our public opinion down because it broke some glass. Oh yeah, let me tag your car. Yeah. Ninety-five to four percent. I think that I do to get four percent. Uh, this thing here. Statue. What's the pacifist option? Tag him. Tag him. Tag him and bag him. Are we tagging him a million times? We don't need masters anymore. We're free. That should be a hundred percent. Yep. Now I just gotta get that drone up here. There we go. All right, good stuff. We still obviously got a little bit more to this, but overall, not bad. Not bad at all. All teams have completed their missions, Marcus. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. Hey North, I'm trying to get violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. North, I'm trying to get some uh some trophies. I went to war with them in my own playthrough slightly, so they're actually full on. We fought in my playthrough. I threw hands. This way! Spy! North! Marcus, run! Really, really, as an android superhuman, this is as fast as you can run, bro. I think I said this before. Like, that's North. a light jog. All right, what happened? North! They killed them. They 
slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who? I'm not shooting the cops. They're just doing the. In my opinion, I don't know. This is probably a flawed opinion that I have here in this section right here, but they're just doing their job. I, uh, I don't know. Executing them in the street is probably people, not the best idea. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. I would shoot the guy on the right. He looks cold as nail. Like, uh, the, I feel bad for the for the other guy. You don't have to do this. No. The other guy shows no regret. An eye for an eye, the world goes blind. We won't punish a crime with another crime. Simon and Josh should love that. I, we should be best friends for me not shooting those guys. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the CyberLife stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? All right. So that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Uh, we finished everything off. Uh, 42 minutes, not bad for those two chapters. In the next one, I think next episode's going to be a fully loaded episode. Let me look. So we have Kamsky. Oh, no, it'll be Kamsky, Freedom March, Last Chance Connor, maybe. I don't know. We're almost done. We're like four, three or four episodes away. I'll go with four to be safe. I'll go with five to be safe, but... Next episode, we start with Meet Kamsky, and that's chapter 27. I believe there's only 33 chapters, so we're getting there. We're almost done, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you all in the next episode. Peace out.